guys, DIY Brie here. I'm popping in to share with you some recent thrift finds. So the first item is a little bit unusual. I love real plants, but this one is a faux. So I got a little fake orchid at the Goodwill. It's got a very shallow vessel or vase at the bottom, oops, and it's got a really pretty purpley color. And with some dusting, I think it could be really nice. I might use it at my aunt's house or something, but I thought it was cool and a very large piece for a really inexpensive. All right, I got my assistant here helping me today. So in two different places at the DI, I found two matching candle holders that are a deep brown color. They were each $3. My initial instinct was to spray paint them black, but this could work really well in fall decoration, just keeping it this warm brown color and adding some faux colored leaves to it or something. So we'll see. And then there's two of them. One, one thought I had was finding a way to like fuse them together or just style them together with lots of other greenery or whatever, you wouldn't be able to tell they're two separate pieces and create this really long, dramatic um, lining to center the table. And a good deal, they're metal. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they're solid metal. <laughs> okay, you guys know that I love colored glass and I found this beautiful little delicate smoked glass uh, shallow dish thing that I thought was really cute. It's kind of got this gray tone to it. I like that it's shallow and so it could be used as a landing place for your keys or something or jewelry even, little mints, or of course just styled on some books on a beautiful shelf and just displayed. I love this tinted look. So it came with a couple other items but I just purchased this because I love the modern look of this. The rest of the set looked a little more dated, so I thought this was really cute. I love when I can find little pots and planters for growing stuff, and I found this cute, neutral colored, um, textured little vase. It has a drainage hole with a plastic, um, you know those little stoppers that you can just pull in and out, so it can function for drainage if you want. And I don't know, it's really cute. I love the like underlay of color. It's this warm brown color, really warm and rich. And then there's like a icier white overlaid. But you can see that warm color peeking through. So it's really pretty and small and dainty. All the little circles are bumps, they're raised, so it creates a nice texture. And yeah, just thought this was really cute. Uh, I just accidentally took the string out of it. But this was in the Christmas section and I normally don't shop in there because there's a lot of gaudy holiday things that I'm not really into. But in the ornament section, I found this beautiful clay ceramic piece that has imprinted on it the word, you are amazing. And I thought that would be a pretty, well, it would work really well with my style and aesthetic and color palette on my Christmas tree, or I could give it away as a gift to somebody that I think is amazing. And I just thought it was really cute. And there's a blank side too, so you could DIY something if you wanted to do something completely different with it. And it has this kind of jute twine to hang it with, but you could always switch that out as well. There's a hole to use a hook or whatever you wanted. All right, you guys know I'm a sucker for a good basket. This I just thought was really unique. I love the warm redness of the base, and it's got this beautiful pattern and detail in it. And from the outside and the inside, I think it looks really cool. And then it's got this tight, really delicate weaving all around the side, and it's got this nice rounded shape, and it's finished off really well with this braided detail on the top. Oh, oh are you okay? And I just thought it was really cute. There's a little bit of like black, something that I could clean off of it. But for the most part, it's in good shape and just really unique and a nice warm color. Okay, this is a little random, but in the craft section, they had those little cutouts. Oh, you want this, buddy? Um, I've sort of been collecting these. They're really nice to create your own confetti. So I've gotten like little kitty cat shapes and stars and circles. So you just stick the paper in and punch through. Um, come here. Come here, you want it? So you can use lots of different colored paper to create this colorful confetti to throw into somebody's birthday card or something. 
it's a fun uh, DIYable thing. So, and that one was a square shape, and I thought it was cute, and I didn't have that one yet. Okay, this is a really cool, substantial piece. It was only $2, and it's a beautiful sea urchin looking, really heavy <laughs> ceramic decorative thing. So, so it would work really well as like a paperweight styled on a shelf. It's kind of dirty with like dirt in it. So you could clean it out if you wanted, but I think it sort of adds to the realness and the look of it. But I thought this was really neat and I'm not sure what I'll do with it exactly. It'd be perfect for kind of beachy decor, but that's not necessarily my style. But I like that it's subtle and neutral colored and quite heavy and just a really nice cool piece. So I promise I wasn't looking for beach themed items, but this seashell that's actually a vase, I thought was really pretty. It was $1.50. It's just this beautiful, nice ceramic piece with nice texture on the outside. And it's a little bit dirty and I might be able to clean off and buff out the little imperfections, but it's got like this light blue glaze on the inside and it's unfinished on the outside. Again, a great little vessel to store some things, corral your chapstick and keys or something. But I thought it was really dainty and cute and definitely use somewhere, somehow. I like the uniqueness of it. Speaking of uniqueness, this napkin holder, my daughter really liked, so we picked it up. It's got somebody's signature on the bottom, so someone hand painted this. It's a, it's a white ceramic. Hey! It's a white ceramic. Hey! And it's got this half dome shape. And someone painted a tree with birds on it and they're kind of in a heart shape in the front. Definitely got kind of that homemade DIY feeling to it, I, th I think personally. It is very well done though, just not my style. So I might totally transform this into something else, but we shall see. My daughter likes it though, so we'll see if she'll let me change it. These, again, I found in two separate parts of the store. I don't know why that kept happening, but I'm not exactly sure what they are. Little wire basket bases for something. Uh, these could be a great candidate to DIY into bookends maybe, or as a holder to place baskets inside or books. I don't know. I thought they were cool and I could use the two of them as like a stand in order to raise something up and DIY it. Uh, they're just in good shape and they're metal and they're coated this with this wood paint or white paint. And yeah, I don't know. We'll see what I end up doing with it. Let me know in the comments if something comes to mind for you when you see these. And then I got two baskets. They're that lovely woven thing that I just like. It's got two handles and then on the front it kind of dips down a little bit. So a nice little detail if you want to put something in it that's cute that you want to be able to see a little bit. There's a little peekaboo. And this is the same kind of deal. I don't really love that I could just clip that off easily. Yeah, it's just sort of tied on so I could take that off or just use it from this side or gift it. But I like the way it's woven and looped around the top. It's a little bit different from your average woven basket and it's very solid and sturdy and it's it's a good quality piece, so I was excited to find that. All right, this last item I think was somebody's home ec uh, ceramic project, but it looked really cool. It's this tiny little jug with two little handles that are not really functioning because they're so tiny, and then a very delicate little top, and it's been glazed partially, and it's got kind of this iridescent, also kind of coppery tone, and then the back is more flat and not so colored. So it's kind of a bit of a mess. Yeah, it's a little imperfect, but I thought there was a lot of potential there. I like that it looks homemade, and so I could redo the finish and then create something that looks maybe a little more aged and more authentic. And I could definitely put some pompous grass or something delicate inside and create a little moment. That was all the items I have thrifted that I wanted to show you today. I hope you enjoyed the video and seeing everything that I bought. Comment down below any ideas you have, the type of videos you want to see from me, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you the next one. Bye guys. Good job. Hi. Bye. Hey,
Oh, 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 oh,